Okay, what we're going to do today is uh, I'm going to show you how I uh, create my servo push rods using um, one eighth inch uh, welding uh, rod. This stuff's uh, you know, soft steel, but it's still it's it's pretty uh, pretty strong and uh, more than adequate for what we're doing here. So what we got to do is I've uh, pre-cut a piece to the length. I've got a uh, a ball link on this end with a plastic clevis and a Robart uh, control horn here with the little attachment there. So I need to thread both ends of this 440 to fit in here. So the way we're going to do that is well, put this in the drill. We've got a uh, 440 die here that we're going to use. First thing we'll do is uh, put a little tapping oil onto the uh, rod. Now very slowly, with a lot of pressure, we'll push into this and we'll get this started. And we'll make sure you've got a good bunch of threads cut. There we go. And you can speed it up just a little and then let that cut. You can see it cutting right there. And I'm going to cut threads until I just about get on the other side of my die. There we go. You can see it right there coming through. Okay, reverse the drill. And there you go. We got a nice uh, set of 440 threads. So now we'll do the other one, the other end. Just reverse it. And uh, the oil. Okay, a little pressure and patience. You gotta make sure you got a good die, good sharp die, or this won't work. Unless you, this rod is so much thicker than what you're trying to cut. So you gotta make sure you got a good, good die, and. Uh, a lot of pressure and just uh, slow and easy. There we go. You can see it's coming out just about the right length. A couple more threads. There we go. Okay. There, we've got those cut. Get out of there. So over here. Okay, the next thing we want to do is uh, make a little acetone on a thread. <clears throat> Don't drop any on your control surface. <laughs> and clean up the ends here, get the oil off of here so it doesn't affect our Loctite or our binding. Okay, once we've done that, now we're going to put uh, one end into the uh, plastic clevis and to make sure I screw it in uh, the right length. We'll take a pin and we'll set this up where we want it. Mark how far in we want it to go. Once again, because I'm lazy, I'm going to use this drill and then we'll just put that in here. You see the little mark right there. Screw that in. There we get right there. Back this off. Okay. Now all we got to do is screw the other end in. We'll take this swivel thing here, and then we'll we're going to need a uh, 440 nut. Because we want to put a lock nut here, it is. Put a lock nut on here to lock down on this uh, metal clevis. I'll get our 440 started. There we go. Then we're going to take a liberal amount of Loctite, smear that on there, and then just screw the clevis on here.
I've got this blocked up here so it's uh, not level. Um, my radio is on, so my servo is uh, holding at the center position. And then we'll just screw this on here until we get the length we're looking for. That looks pretty close. Let me give that a try. Slip our nut in there and our screw in there. Yeah, it needs to come out about maybe a turn. Okay, perfect. As you can see, here we do. We've got it all set up, working. Now we've got to put, I'll put uh, just a touch more Loctite on here. And we'll screw this nut up. Hold this clevis from turning. And then we'll lock this nut down. A little wrench. Okay, and then we'll put the little nylon lock nut on here. Okay, all locked up. And ready to go. Got a nice, uh, nice tight arrangement, and uh, nice and strong. And uh, that's how I make uh, push rods out of uh, eighth-inch welding rod. So uh, we'll see you next time.